You've seen us catch brim before on Fishing Western Australia, but did you realise you can catch fish right here in the middle of the city, Barrack Street Jetty, ferries everywhere, people all over the place, and yes, there are a lot of brim right here, aren't there, Ira? Yeah, definitely, mate. They're hard work, but there's fish here. Well, I'm sure we'll get a few, because he's the brim man. I'm not, but at least if I'm with him, I'm in with the chance to, so let's have a look. You've seen us fish for a brim on the show before, and we are using specialist brim gear. Small reels, graphite rods, and fireline braid, so you can actually feel what's going on. And around these pylons and jetties, these soft plastics with a lead head, on a nice mono leader, this is Berkeley Vanish, that's the go, because you can work them nice and slowly around the pylons. Get in nice and close to the pylon. Let it sink down and just twitch it back. I know this looks ridiculous. You're thinking there can't be any fish here, but uh, trust me, there are. One of the keys to fishing around these pylons where the water's fairly deep is to make sure your lure is getting down. And that means when you cast it, A, you've got to get it right underneath, but B, a little bit of line out and let it sink down. If you always give it that one little flick, you're always going to make sure that you let enough line out. You're consciously thinking about it all the time. Don't think the noise puts the fish off. As soon as the incoming ferry stirred up the water, the brim came in for a look and started to hunt. Oh, well done, Ira. I knew if we persevered long enough, we'd actually get one of them to stay connected. Gotta love that. <laughs> Now, have a look. Heavily populated area, people all around. The ferry turned up like two minutes ago, but still, he's going, mate, he's going. He's not huge, but he's all right. He's all right. Certainly illustrates the point. Don't lose him now, mate. No, he's all right. Nice light drag. Oh, good fight. Nice fish. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Saw my ugly mug. Here he comes. That's great. Well, Fantastic. Steve. Mate, I don't get much better than that. That's a nice fish. Just goes to show you how many fantastic fish are living around not only heavily populated areas, but so much traffic here. Barrack Street Jetty, in the middle of the ferries and a big fat brim like that one. I dropped two. It took Ira the brim man to actually pull one, but I'm sure there's more. Now remember that all boats using these jetties have the right of way, and we don't recommend you make a nuisance of yourself around the jetties. Ira's just naturally a nuisance and wanted to prove that brim will live just about anywhere. Oh yeah, touch, touch. Oh, he's there. If you pull one out of here, mate, honestly. Oh, yep. Oh, go on. Oh, <laughs> come please, on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You can do it, mate. This is going to require some quick oh, fancy net and... It's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> come on, mate, you can do it. We've lost too many today already. Please. There he is, there he is. Man in Steve. Oh, well, give me a break here. We're going to get him. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yes, baby. <laughs> oh, man. After five bus stops, I'm one happy camper. <laughs> now have a look at this, and then have a look under there. Now tell me, tell me you expect to find fish under there. Well, Brim mate, will live anywhere. My heart's going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Anyone that suspected that Brim don't live anywhere, mate, today we've proven <sighs> them wrong. And uh, I reckon, look at that. That looks like the ideal place to stop and have a coffee. What do you think? I reckon. There you go, mate. See if you can find some old cakes underneath there.